Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputian, and uh, today I am here with something a little bit different. This is an edu book from Nortech, and it's a netbook, but it's designed to be a modular device um, that can run on double uh, A battery, among other things. So it's uh, sort of designed to be put together by. classroom or school or other institution that is looking for a lightweight solution for their uh, computer needs. So here it is. Take a quick look. There's not much in the box. We've got some drivers. That's about it. The um, this particular one is running Watt OS, which is a Linux-based operating system, and has uh, instructions for connecting to Wi-Fi. This is a review unit that Nortec sent to me. It's a little bit thick for a small laptop, but pretty lightweight because it doesn't have a very large screen or a very large keyboard. I'm going to say that's probably an 8.9 inch display. On the lid, um, it says EduBook has a picture of a looks like a gecko saying uh, stylishly geeky <laughs> on the bottom we've got a screw and another screw um, which you can remove to access the uh, internal components power cable is in the back ethernet VGA USB microphone head uh, microphone and headphone nothing on the front and two more USB ports, and that's pretty much it for your connections. Let's take off the piece of plastic covering the screen. Looks like it's a matte display, so it's non-reflective, non-glossy. Touchpad is fairly small, but it has a nice texture to it. And two distinct buttons underneath. Keyboard is fairly small. Uh, it's definitely not as big as the keyboard that you would get on the laptop with a 10-inch display, but it's designed for uh, children, so hopefully they won't have uh, too much of a problem typing on it. And there's the power button, so let's go ahead and see this thing boot up. Just to give you a little comparison while it's doing that. The uh, computer behind the EduBook here is an ASUS EPC-1000H, which has a 10-inch display. And you can see there's a pretty substantial size difference. Okay, well, it should be logging in. Here we go. Again, while it logs in, just take a closer look at the hardware. And it looks like we're good. So, here's uh, the Watt OS operating system. Uh, you've got a basic desktop. My Documents, Web Browser, Email, Chat, Music Player, and Wi-Fi Connections. Um, programming, Audio Video Section, Graphics, 
uh, under audio and video, there's a uh, movie player, sound recorder, a couple of movie players actually. There's VLC, SM player, one that just says movie player, M player. Under graphics, you've got uh, GIMP, uh, open office drawing, and an image viewer. Um, preferences, system tools, network tools, Office, which includes Abbey Word, Open Office Presentation, Numera for Spreadsheets. It looks like they decided not to go with the full Open Office um, suite because that's a fairly large system and I don't think there's a lot of memory in here. Um, I'll give you more specifications when I have them. You can visit lilliputing.com for that information. And uh, that's pretty much it for the basics. So it's a, a pretty simple Linux based operating system. Of course, it's uh, x86. x86 uh, compatible processor, which means that this can run most Linux distributions as well as Windows XP or maybe Windows 7. Um, I, you know, I'm not sure how well it would run a uh, heavier operating system. It's a relatively slow processor. It's really designed more for battery life and uh, low-cost um, applications as opposed to uh, being sort of the full-fledged. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not an Intel or an AMD processor. This is interesting. The screen doesn't swivel, but you can fold it all the way back uh, for use in sort of an ebook style mode. And that's, uh, that's it for now. So that's a first look at the Nortec Gecko Edgy book. Uh, stay tuned for this. Uh, stay tuned for more details. I'll have them on lilliputing.com and on this YouTube channel.